Well, now to a new twist in an age-old debate. Is marijuana more dangerous than alcohol? You're about to meet a group of mothers who think dope is a legi legitimate aid for frustrated parents. And one prominent alcohol researcher thinks they may have a point, suggesting that marijuana may be legalised and sold by the government to reduce alcohol fueled crime. Well, we'd love to hear from you as you watch David Richardson's report, and you can do that by taking part in our viewer vote. We're asking, should marijuana be legalised? Hello! Come on in, you go inside. This Hollywood mum is throwing an afternoon party with a twist. Cheryl Sherman and her friends will sit down to a three-course meal with marijuana on the menu. For our event tonight, we're going to be having a cannabis-infused uh, chicken piccata made by a wonderful chef here in Beverly Hills, and we're also doing a cannabis-infused salad. It's going to be really delicious. Shall we dig in, ladies? Hollywood has spawned more crazy fads than virtually anywhere on earth. Now the latest craze has mums doing dope. Most people assume that you're going to be stoned if you eat food that's infused with cannabis, but it actually depends on what strain that you're using in the cannabis. Cheryl started using marijuana as an ingredient after being diagnosed with cancer. Now she throws dinner parties with dope for mums with health issues, the weed being legally available for medical use in California. They even boast it makes them better mums. Because I'm calmer, I'm more rational, I, I'm not angry, I'm not stressed. And today, an Australian researcher claimed Cheryl and her marijuana mums are on the right track, using dope rather than alcohol as a de-stressor. Cannabis is not without harm, um, but uh, the way that we currently have alcohol policy in Australia um, doesn't make sense in terms of the intrinsic harmfulness and we'd be better off having uh, cannabis available um, on a restricted basis uh, and moving alcohol into the same kind of basis. The director of the Centre for Alcohol Research, Professor Robin Room, believes marijuana should be legalised under strict controls and the sale of alcohol toughened up. Basically, you would have a licensing scheme of some sort or another that would, uh, in the same way that you do for alcohol, anyone who was going to sell it would have to have a license from the state, which could be removed if they uh, uh, didn't follow the rules. Professor Room believes the governments could grow marijuana crops themselves or license farmers to do it exactly as it's done for opium. More than half the world's legal opium supply for medicine is grown under license in Tasmania. Australia's gotten caught in the 20th century. It's got caught in this, this big dichotomy between what we say is the legal drugs and the illegal drugs without really thinking about it. What's the relative harm that is coming from one and another? The suggestion to legalise marijuana follows a sharp increase in the number of mums busted for drink driving, with 20% of drink drivers now being women. Like Tanya Chilly, who crashed her car while drink driving with 10 children on board. She was sent to jail for three months last year and is still undergoing a community correction order and alcohol rehab. Some people go to work all day, come home stressed, have a couple of glasses of wine and they relax. Same when you have a smoke. This mother of two uses marijuana to de-stress rather than alcohol. Like the marijuana mums of Beverly Hills, she believes it makes her a better parent. Don't think it sets a bad example for the kids? Yeah, it does, because I'm very, you know, I don't want my kids into any drugs. I don't want them smoking cigarettes even. And... So how are you going to stop them if you do it yourself? Well, I guess I won't be able to, but I'll try my best. One of Australia's leading marijuana researchers, Dr John Curry, is dead against mum's binge drinking or smoking dope. The biggest risk of all is that this introduces your kids to cannabis. Kids be will basically think this is normal and this is a good thing. What would you do if your kids came and demanded you quit? I'd give it a try. I'd try and stop. If they really wanted me to stop, I'd do it for them.